So, remember, start off, figure out what the longest decimal is. Well, if I take a look at this, there are two things that are equally long. 2.35 has two things after the decimal. 0 0.21 has two things after the decimal. So I'm moving the decimal two times. No surprise. So I'm going to go through and move it two times in everything. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Again, empty hoops get zeros. Okay. So, in 1.4x, to move it twice to the right makes it 140x. In 1.8, twice to the right becomes 180. In 2.35x, twice to the right, 235x. Zero point two one twice to the right, twenty one. Decimals are gone. No longer a problem. Okay. So now if we take a look at this. One forty x and two thirty five x. They're on the same side together. So I can just jam those together. One forty x plus because there's plus. 35x, well that's 375x. Okay. What do I have to do to the 180? Right, I have to add it. There's subtraction in front of it. So I get rid of it by adding it. Three seventy five X equals two oh one. Multiplication equation. No big deal. Solve it by dividing. So I'm going to divide across by three seventy five. And two oh one divided by three seventy five point five three six. There's definitely no lack of writing today. That I can't say. Okay? You've got plenty of writing you're going to have to do. But getting out the decimal out of there will help quite a few of you tremendously. All right. Now, last one on decimals. This isn't a trick question or anything in example three. It's not super difficult. It's only there for one reason. Okay? Longest decimal, 8.3 or 1.2. No question. They're the only decimals, and they both just have one number after. So we're just moving everything one time. The reason this question is there is because I want to make sure you have to move it one time on everything, even if there's no decimal showing up. So yes, once here and once here, but you also got to move it out of the way once there and once there. When I do that, that's just going to add a zero have to do it to every part, even if it's not a decimal. Or you have to be consistent. You can't get away with skipping a part. Okay? If it says 1 and you got to move once, it's becoming 10. You can't avoid it. Okay, I want to make sure you don't make that mistake. That's why I'm doing this problem. All right. So I've got 83 minus 80y equals 12y plus 60. Okay, so I've got to move y things to the left, loan some numbers to the right. So 12y's got to go over there, so I'm going to subtract it. And because I'm running out of space in the same step, I'm also going to move the 83. 83 is positive, the opposite of is positive is a negative. Negative looks like subtraction. I've said that enough this week alone that it should be ingrained in your brain. Okay. So, take a look at what I have left now. 
negative 80y minus 12y on that left side. That's negative 92y. Over here, 60 and negative 83. That's negative 20. Multiplication equation, back to something you know. Multiplication equation.